Before we finish with this projector for the time being, I just want to do one more thing to it, and that's to create some new faces that we'll use to be a control panel for it later. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is put the um, projector into face selection mode. So we've done vertex selection and edge selection. We're now going to do face selection, which allows you, you can see, to select particular faces. And what I want to do is just select any two faces that are together. So click on one, then shift select to click on another. And this time we're going to create an extrude. And what an extrusion does is it creates new faces. So um, in this case, it's going to create some new faces around the face we've got. So we're going to end up with, I think, an additional six faces to accommodate what we're going to do. Or maybe just an additional four. Math is not my strong suit. Okay, so once we've got those selected, we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on Extrude. And you won't actually see that anything's happened. But click and drag on Thickness, and we'll make that 0 0.1. And then click and drag on offset and make that 0.1 as well. And you'll see that it's now created kind of a raised area uh, with two new faces. And those two faces are going to represent a control panel when we texture that later. So that is even more proper 3D modeling. That's extrusion modeling there, dude. So um, you, are, you are learning fast. I'm so impressed with you. So before we move on, um, we're just going to scroll back up in the uh, modeling toolkit. We're going to pop that projector back into object selection mode. And then we're going to rename it and call it projector. Press enter. Okay, well done.